Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I just want to do something really simple. <laughs> simple, cute, pretty and pink. I've left out like a load of pink products. I have a pink blush here. I have the Mimi Mitchell pink blush. I have the P. Louise pink base. I have a pink palette. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with primer. I'm taking the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer, this one here. It's the illuminating one. So I've been using a new fake tan on my face and it's it's hilarious. It's kind of took a wee bit too much to like around my nose and my area. So I had to apologise about that. <laughs> I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD illuminating foundations because i have a bit of tan on at the minute i think this is going to be a wee bit too light for me so i'm going to be mixing it with the revolution body veil the face and body foundation in the shade f10.5 now i know i could probably just get a darker shade of this but i i've most of my stuff all packed away at this point i literally just have left a few things <laughs> Okay, so that's them two foundations mixed together, and I think it's still a wee bit too light, but I think once it's actually like blended into the skin, it should be fine actually. So I'm just going to go on ahead and just plaster this on. <laughs> so I don't actually think it looks too bad actually. Please do excuse the tan on my neck. I know it does look a bit patchy, but I done my tan last night and I've yet to wash it off. <laughs> Absolute dirtbag. I feel like I say this literally every single time I use this foundation, it's so annoying. <laughs> I literally annoy myself. But see the LA Girl Pro Coverage, just this foundation here, chef's kiss every single time. Look at that glow. Look at that glow on my skin. It's just coming up to summer. This is like the perfect summer foundation. Not sure how you would get on with this foundation if you do have oily skin because it is very illuminating. It's very glowy, it's very G. But, and I do have dry to normal skin, so that's why I get on grand with it. And it's such a nice lightweight foundation as well. That's why it's like perfect for summer and everything. For concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape. I've actually been loving the XX Revolution Cream Bronzer at the minute, this one here. What shade is it? Inspire. I'm not too sure whether it's the light one or the medium one. It definitely wouldn't be the dark one, but yeah. It's actually really, really good. It's very... You kind of have to go a wee bit ham with it if you actually really do want it to show. <laughs> but I've been loving it at the minute because it's just, like, it's just nice. It doesn't, like, really warm up the skin or give too much of a contour or bronze or anything, but it just nicely warms up the skin, just quite naturally, actually. It's very beginner friendly as well. Like, as you can see, you can barely see it, but once I have it all on and blend it and everything, it's just, it just looks very, very natural on the skin. Oh my goodness, I love it. I just absolutely love this combination. Like, see the LA Girl foundation and this. And I give you the Tarte Shirt. Tarte Shirt. Tarte, 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 yes. The Tarte Shape Tape. Um, concealer. Absolutely phenomenal combination. But I've just been absolutely loving this wee product at the minute. See the way it's just nicely like, warmed up my cheeks and my forehead and stuff, but not overly too much. And then going on with the Maybe Mitchell Liquid Blush in the shade Sweet Cheeks. So I've tried the bronzer version of this a couple of times and I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to lie, I always feel really guilty whenever I say that I'm not a fan of like a really popular product but I'm not really the biggest fan. I just can't seem to work it, work it. <laughs> it's just hit or miss for me basically. So I'm going to take a load of that clearly on the back of my hand and just kind of warm it up on my hand before I apply it to... The cheeks. <laughs> I always get so scared. So I'm also going to make this look very blushy. So I'm going to apply quite a lot of blush. And I'm actually not going to apply any highlight today. Shock horror said me never. <laughs> so that's why I'm going to bring this blush like right up. So I'm just using this on a ColourPop 
F32 brush. I'm pretty sure you could use your fingers for this or a bee sponge, bee blender or whatever. But I quite like using a brush for my liquid blushes. That's looking actually quite nice, you know, isn't it? Looks very pretty. Now I'm just going to go in with my concealer sponge. And I'm actually just going to go like around the edges. Just right there. Yeah, so I think that actually does look quite nice, actually. I think it looks grand, but I think I'm going to... Uh, uh, what is actually wrong with me right now? <laughs> but I'm going to end up topping it up with a powder blush later on. But I'm going to do a bit of setting now at my under eyes. I'm actually just going to be using the Revolution Beck Blot Setting Powder, this wee press one here. And I'm actually just going to be using this on my T-zone. just like to add a wee bit of powder where I know for definite that I will crease throughout the day. I'm going to take a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. This is a JH6 brush. Just into that powder again. I usually don't like to put a lot of powder on my forehead because I really love like that wee glow coming through. But... I just like to take the tiniest wee bit of powder and just tap that on so that it's just enough powder to set the makeup but you're still going to get that glow come through. I just want to set it enough so it's not going to move, it's not going to crease but I still want that really nice like shine coming through. Okay so I just give my face a wee spritz with the Anastasia G set satin mist and I know I said I wasn't going to use highlighter. But I'm not going to use it on my cheeks, but I am going to use a wee bit of highlight on my forehead and the centre of my nose. So I'm going to be taking the MAC Soft and Gentle Manila Skin Finish. It's my goal to use this up this year because I've hit pan quite a bit. I think it's about time I actually use this up. So I'm just going to take a wee bit just on my forehead. And then just down the centre of my nose. Can't help it. <laughs> I'm gonna put just the tiniest wee bits in my cheeks, like just, just that. Can I help myself? <laughs> and then for blush, I'm gonna be taking this wee one from Sephora. This wee one here. I do apologise. I won't be able to link this because over here in Northern Ireland, for some reason, we literally cannot even get on to a Sephora website. It takes us directly to the French website and I to speak French. And then for my bronzer, I'm going to be taking the Jouet Bronzer Duo, this wee one here. And I just like to take the lightest shade. These are the two palettes I used in actually one of my previous tutorials, the Cosmic Brushes Royal Rose palette. This palette, I swear to goodness, every time I see it, I'm just absolutely blown away by how absolutely beautiful this palette is. And then the Be Perfect Cosmetics Dream Big Manifest palette, this one here, because in both of these palettes there's like a pale pink. So I'm going to take Queen Bee, which is the shade up here in the corner, and I'm going to take this on my 01 Buff and Blend brush. I'm not actually too sure what day I'm going to be uploading this video because obviously I think I did mention in one of my previous videos that I'm doing so much pre-filming at the minute. Basically by next week we should have our keys but at the same time by the time I'm uploading this we could also have our keys. Like, I just kind of feel really guilty because like you're always behind on what's actually going on because of my uploads. Um, but basically I'm wanting to pre-film as much as I can at the minute because whenever we do get our keys and we start to move in and we start moving everything about and... I basically want to take a couple of weeks to kind of get my life sorted out, you know what I mean? Like my my new life, you know, like the next chapter of my life and just kind of get everything like sorted and just, I don't know, just kind of like live in the moment and just not have to like worry about filming or anything. Um, because obviously like I'm going to have a filming room in my new house and a makeup room, dressing room, whatever. And it's going to be an absolute shit show. <laughs> I know for a fact that it is. It's going to be an absolute mess. Um, but obviously, it'll take time to get that all sorted and whatever. But I still want to obviously continue with my uploads. So I'm still going to be continuing to upload three times a week while I'm taking off to kind of like sort my life out. 
in my new house. <laughs> so that's why I'm like pre-filming so much at the minute, so. But it just means that it's so awkward because I never really know what to talk about and I'm always like behind. I'm always basically a week behind. Does that make sense? So basically like all the videos I'm going to be filming this week, I won't be uploading them until next week. Next week's videos, I won't be uploading them until the week after. Basically last week's videos was the week before. Does that make sense? <laughs> so confusing. There's probably obviously a simpler way to actually talk about all that, but yeah. But yeah, as I was saying at the start there, I don't know when I'm going to be uploading this video. Hopefully still February, so obviously my brushes, like my wee collaboration, my eyeshadow brush set collection collaboration is obviously still on sale at the minute for 10% off. You can get 10% off if you use the code Emma at a discount just for the month of February and we do worldwide shipping as well. It's my wee collection here. So obviously get it while you can guys. But oh, see for this transition ish shade, I'm just going to be focusing this just at the outer corner and I'm going to be bringing it in slightly to the inner corner as well but I'm keeping it at the crease, like the upper crease sorry. So as you can see I'm kind of bringing it onto the lid at the outer corner but I'm kind of going up towards the brow bone and the upper crease because I want to put a wee bit of pink in the lid somewhere. I think it'll be quite pretty. So I'm going to take a P. Louise base now, this pink one, in Winter Rose and I'm going to take one of my wee brushes, the 02 brush, let's do one here. That was the base by the way. So I'm just going to be applying this just to the inner corner. I'm going to be taking the tiny C bit at a time because I don't want this to be to be like super pink so just kind of like packing it on just in the inner corner and just kind of blending it out as I go these bases are absolutely fantastic by the way um to blend they are so so good they're really really easy to work with but whenever I do blend them because it is a wet product basically um, and you also don't want to lift any of like the underlying product underneath I do use cold white a light hand I basically just kind of like tickle the product in the lid just to blend it out okay I'm actually going to take a clean zero two again <laughs> and Just do a wee bit of blending. That looks clash, you know, that looks, not to tip my own horn, but tit tit, that looks actually so, so nice. Oh, get me in summer, I swear to God. But this would be perfect for like a summer night, a summer party. And I think while that base is still a wee bit tacky, I'm going to go into the Royal Rose palette and take Dusk. No, I'm not actually. Oh, great. Just put a bit of pink all up my bib. I'm going to go into the Be Perfect Cosmetics palette and take Lily, is that? This one here. So it's a wee bit more paler and that's what I want. Okay, I'm starting to get a wee bit fed up with that brush. I'm going to take a slightly bigger one, my 06. Just want to use a slightly bigger brush so it's just a wee bit quicker. There we go. Okay, so I just went on ahead there and applied a wee pair of false lashes, just like wee half lashes. And I'm not going to use a wee bit of eyebrow gel, so I'm going to take the Wilbur Eye Farm Elf. And I'm just going to run this through my brows. I usually like to do this as my last step because I feel like sometimes whenever I'm applying like all my powder products like my powder, my highlight, my blush, my bronzer, whatever, like sometimes it'll get stuck in the brows, like even in bits of eyeshadow sometimes. So I like to just do that as my last step. Whoa, 
sometimes I look at my brows and they're like, yes, I really like my brows. They're looking so good at the minute. And then some other times I look at them and I'm like, damn, they are big. <laughs> For my lips, I'm going to be taking the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF. Then I'm going to be taking the El Maquillage Matte Lip in the shade Glory. Is anybody actually able to tell me, like, is this discontinued? Because every time I go to link it, I can never find it. I can literally find every shade but Matte Glory. And I'm also going to go in with a wee bit of this Stila Style Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rosa, Rosa, this wee one here. So I'm just going like, to do all you hit, just in the centre. Mm-hmm, and maybe not. This on my lips. Will we try? Like I don't like a full pink lip. <laughs> just no. Um, so I'm just gonna see if I can have a wee bit of pink just in the center. So I have the Soda, what is this? The Soda, what is this? This is what you want here. 102 gloss. I'll link it down below for you if you want. And then I have the Be Perfect Cosmetics Double Glazed Manifest gloss that actually came with this palette. Or it kind of came out in the same collection. I think I'll actually just use the Be Perfect one because it is pink. Oh, that's quite nice actually. I just see at the minute though, my lips have been so dry and just crackly and wrinkly and just, just gross really. So I think that's actually us guys, yay. I'm actually so happy with how this looks. I think this is so cute. I will definitely be wearing this look in the summer. This would be class if it was, like this orange shade for like a really like nice summer's evening or away on holidays or something. But yeah guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. All the products that I did use to be listed and linked down below in the description box along with a link directly where you can buy my collection, my collaboration. And obviously do remember that just for the month of February it is at 10% off and just for the month of February. So get it now while you can. Hope you've enjoyed this makeup look and I hope to see you in my next video.